first thing you have to do is identify your project. Then we can help you put it together as a proposal, which you can take to your commercial bank. If they approve the loan, then we can guarantee it. But before that, you'll have to go through a training program. We just want to make sure that you approach the project in a business-like manner. All right? So study these carefully. And when you're ready, we'll talk again. Thank you very much. Thanks. It, we'll be back. It's always a pleasure to see young people showing initiative and willing to get into business. Well, good luck. Thanks again. No problem. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. I can't decide what I really, really like. There's so many things you could do, you know, if you could just give yourself a chance. Like what? Hey, hey. hey. Where are you oh, going? Where are you sitting? Where are you up to? I'm going to the bank. Ah, yeah. nice to know some of us still have money in the bank. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's a credit officer. I call him. I'm about to go. He pays the bills. Oh, I'm being changed. You wear them around our neck. Watching our hands. Yeah, now I want you to come over for dinner sometime real soon. So, you know, then good. But please. Give my little notice, all right? So I could order the pizza. That sounds you know? fine. Yes. <laughs> and good luck, okay? Of course, I don't want to go. She's a great commander. Mm. Yeah. Sounds better. Sounds yeah. good. But make it soon, all right? Yes, yes. I'll okay. give you a call now. All right. Okay. All right. Take care. All right. I'll give you a call. Okay, okay. He's been a really, really good friend. Yeah. Yes, babe. Now, the first thing you have to decide what kind of business you want to go into, huh? Me? I thought it's both of us. Sorry. Of course. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go for lunch? I'm going to Tobago tomorrow to mm. see Franz. I'll call Tante Millie and tell her to expect you. I kept wondering about you in Toronto all those years. If you had changed. <laughs> if you hated me for not writing you. And how I'd feel when I saw you again. And? I found that I still love you. I knew it the moment I saw you. Look, I'm thinking of going back to do my master's, and I want you to come with me. Oh, but Jason, I am married to a good man who loves friends. But you don't love him. What makes you think that? You love me. You know it. I loved you, Jason. There wasn't anything that I wouldn't have done for you. You know that. But it's over now. What do you mean? I mean I love my husband. Those times we spent together, the promises we made to each other. That was a long time ago. I didn't know how I felt about you, but now I do. And? 
And there's nothing left between us, nothing at all. Well, could we try again? I mean, I've been away for a long time. And... Jason, we have a child together. That is all, nothing else. You want to see him? You want us to know him again? That is fine. But there can be never anything else between us again. How was your day? Oh, as usual. Yours? Okay. Good, I'll be down just now. Hungry dinner won't be half an hour. Darrell, what is it? What is wrong? Who is that man you met today? It's Jason, isn't it? He just came back. I was going to tell you about it. When? After dinner. So why couldn't you tell me when you came in from work? You still love him, don't you? I am married to you, Darrell. That's not the same thing, and you know it. But I love you, Darrell. 